Okay, my friends. So you were interested in some of my old artwork. Well, here's another painting. It was done uh, in another 50-year-old painting or so. But uh, keep it centered here. Yeah, so that's one. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, my friends, so when I was a, a small child, around three or so, my father was stationed uh, with the Eskimos, and he said that they were lovely people, and, uh, you know, give you the shirt off their back and help you out. So anyhow, I did this painting of a Eskimo mother with her child, and uh, that's that. Back in a minute. Okay, my friends, uh, this is a painting of a, an old monk. Uh, perhaps he's praying for forgiveness, or perhaps he's praying that the Vikings don't come and take all his gold plates and take him away to slavery. But uh, anyhow, that's what we've got here is a an old monk. <laughs> Save us from the Vikings. Back in a minute. Yeah, okay, my friends. So, I don't always paint, you know, pictures of, uh, of mountains and things like that, but this is a different kind of a painting. There's a guy, he's... Uh, sitting kind of dejected in the corner and you see he's got a bottle of wine in his hand and he's got a ball and chain around his ankle hash pipe pizza box so it's one of those social statement kind of paintings that I used to do And that's the message. <laughs> what does that mean? Anyhow, don't forget. Back in a minute. Okay, guys, and here's a painting of a uh, little redhead. Again, these were all done about the, the same time. Nice blue eyes. Anyhow, back in a minute. Okay, well, here's my favorite art critic, Missy. <laughs> the best friend you could ever have. Anyhow, you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Okay, my friends, let's take a couple shots here this evening and get a little exercise. Nothing special, just uh, our usual shooting. Getting warmed up, taking a few shots. Back in the old days, 
King would make us all practice at the butts on Sunday. looking at that target but we put the tip on with the left hand so watch the left hand watch the bow and how it moves compared to the left but I don't move my right around. I'm not interested in pulling and increasing pressure by pulling. I want all the pressure to come from my left hand. That's what's putting that arrow at the target. to the target. Thank you. 
starting to beat up our arrows, so we we'll just sort of stop now. But uh, all I was trying to show you again this evening is that the right hand has the middle finger in the corner of the mouth and that stationary, it doesn't move. I'm not plucking, I'm not pulling, I'm not using my body in any way. I'm simply anchoring it there and holding it there. Visually, I'm looking at the target. And all I want to do is make sure that that arrow points at the target. Lined up. So if it's off when I get back, I'll simply push, not roll it, but push it on. When I get it pushed on, then I just relax my hand and let it go. And uh, when you do that, you'll see that you can get fairly consistent groups you know, for a, a, a hunting distance, you know. But uh, it'll pack them right in there. And as long as you can do that, that's all you have to do. You're bringing home the bacon. Okay? Okay, guys. Have a good night. No. Talk to you later. Bye now.